uh, we have a very very important syntax to read the data and to write the data into this cells the data table we have cells right rows and columns to read the data or to write the data it's a very important one basically we'll be using this value command it's a very 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 important one you can take a star mark to it to read or to write the data from the column names we'll be using this method Okay, so I have some country names and here are some values, normal simple values. Okay. So if I want to write anything or else if I want to read anything from this cells what's given here. So I need to know two things. One is row and other one is a column. If I know row and column, then getting the data from the cell is really possible. If I want to get this England as an output. So this England is in a row two of country column. If I want to write something here, here. So it's in a row four of values. So if I know, if I can give my row and column information, then getting the cells information is really easy task okay yes that is the primary thing so now we'll be seeing how to read the data from the excel sheet sorry how to read the data from the cell and how to read write the data to the cell so for that we have only one that is value this value will serve the two purpose using that we can read the data as well as we can write the data data table dot value Parameter ID in a sense column name, column name, comma sheet name. Column name, comma sheet name. Data table dot value, column name, comma sheet name. This is let's assume that this is to read it. is to read so to write data table dot value column name comma sheet name it's equal to the thing what you are trying to write some text and think what you are trying to write that should be taken into the quotes the first one is to read the data from the cell and the second one to write the data to the cell but here i have giving only the column name is that the only column name is sufficient obviously no even i need to know to get the data from the cell even i need to know what the row i want to check it if i want to get this england as a output according to the syntax data table dot what is the column name country column name is country and what is the sheet name it is uh, action one so is this data sufficient to pick the data from the second row obviously no okay Yes. So whenever we are trying to get the data from the cell, we need to define two things. One is row and another one is a column. So here we have defined the column, whatever the row. So before to this, we need to write a simple statement where that statement will execute a specific row. So if I want to work on a second row, first of all, I need to activate that second row. Right? So just here, data table dot get sheet and the sheet name is action one dot dot set current row this is very important set current row to two so whenever i run the test 
so first the second row will be activated see here set current row to 2 in the second row what column you want i want a country column so obviously that is england see here the second row of country column so that's england and it will print england as your output what the point guys so whenever you are trying to work so this is the uh, basic thing what we need to do whenever you are trying to work with the cell we need to activate the row first then after we need to write the value command so that it will bring the appropriate data see here so whenever we have a information of row and column only in that circumstances we can bring the cell data you can see that in line on the screen right if i want to write some data let me check i want to write india here after america and england i want to write the country name is india so data table got row count and what row i need to activate that is the third row activate the third row in the country action one i want to write it now so to write it to your right side equal to the country what you are trying to write so whenever we run it it will identify that row 3 in that row 3 it will try to find the country column name and there it will try to write in the hour simple so practice this methods we have few other methods called export and all other things that will be seen gradually uh, with few other examples so these are the basic data table methods we have so we'll be framing the examples with them from tomorrow so this is a data driven testing actually so tomorrow we'll be completely framing examples on this uh, the things what we have learned on all the data tables we are trying to see okay so tomorrow is very important session where we are going to discuss about the examples the, the things what we have learned on a data table we'll integrate them and we'll try to have a good examples on that yes and even if time permits we'll take some real application and in the application also we'll be trying to work with okay so this is the very important concept this is known as data driven testing we haven't started the data driven testing we have just worked with data table methods using this methods we'll be trying to create a data table framework that we'll be seeing in our today's session okay so most probably in a three to four classes we can wind up our qtp sessions and we can start our qc classes clear okay? okay so we'll end today's session here and let's meet up tomorrow and i request everyone uh, to go through these data table methods once because in the tomorrow's class completely we are going to use data table methods and condition statements and loops and even i request you to go through the loops and condition statement also once clear so bye for now and let's meet up tomorrow